Hey y'all, it's D here. I come here to do some saving challenges, so please stay tuned. Okay, y'all, it's saving challenge time. So first, I would like to go over my allocation for my saving challenges as I do per usual. So for today, I will be allocating a total of $150. And with this allocation, $100 will be going towards my birthday saving challenge. $20 will be going towards Jar That Money. $5 will be going towards my Yayo saving challenge. $3 will be going for Blooming the Books for Book Saving Challenge. $3 will be going to my D Bucks. And $19 will be going towards my monthly savings challenge. So all that should equal up to $150. So $150 minus is $100. Minus is $20. Minus $5. Minus $3. Minus $3. Minus $19. And yeah, I have a $0 allocation. So I hope that y'all are doing well. I am recording this video a little early because I'm trying to get ahead on some videos because tax season is right around the corner for me. So I will be preparing for that. So I will be doing my video for my saving challenges kind of different because I do want to cut the length of my videos down some and have them a little bit shorter. So now I will be counting this money right here that's in this tray. This is a combination of some more Christmas money, side income money allocations, some donations from fellow YouTubers, and some cash tips that I actually did receive. So I'm going to count the actual cash first, and that is 1, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. So it's 122 plus this right here, which is 10, 20, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So it's 28 equals my $150 allocation. So I want to show y'all. A slight change that I did make with my binders. Uh, if you didn't see my last video with some Happy Meal in it, it was actually a budget with me. For now, Bali on a budget, I did reveal a new binder right here from Funny McGinnis Jones. So I turned my original binder that I got from her into a, actually the notes binder. And yeah. I'm loving it. This is now my second favorite. And the one I just got is now my favorite binder. <laughs> so let's get started with this binder right here. And so first I will be doing the debug challenge. And I actually got these debugs from Rebecca from Here to Their Journey. So thank you so much. You are allowing me to be able to do this challenge and this challenge will be going towards my mortgage. So if you don't know anything about D-Bucks or anything like that, dollar bills and $2 bills has these initials from A through L. So she sent me a total of three of those. Get these out. And that means I will be able to color three D bucks. And once I once I finish coloring these, I should have a total of seven D bucks. And once I finish getting all of these on this tracker, I will have a total of twenty D bucks. And then I will send that towards make a payment towards my mortgage principal. This tracker is from Jesse C Envelopes, and she also included the D Buck envelope, also. So, thank you so much, Jesse. 
to save some time, I did fill out the trackers in advance. So, and the save on editing, because I was using a low, whole lot of time editing the saving challenge video. <laughs> and I'm trying to, you know, <laughs> make it a little smoother. So this should be a total of seven D books. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So yay, uh, almost halfway towards the $20. So that is exciting. So that challenge is done. To my birthday savings challenge, and I did fill the tracker out in advance as I stated. It currently has $39 in there, and today I will be adding this hundred dollars. So let me tell y'all about this hundred dollars. This is actually a star note right here, and of my Christmas gift for my dad. And I went back and forth on what to do with it. So I do collect star notes, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to collect this $100 star note. So, you know, I'm balling on the budget on this channel, y'all. So I made the uh, decision to use this $100 to actually put into my birthday saving challenge. And since my birthday is not until September, I'm just going to pay myself back. And I'm probably just going to go ahead and save this star note in my collection since I am collecting them. But I would probably only save one $100 bill star note because this is a lot. So since I'm adding this $100, this is another saving challenge from Jesse C. Envelopes. I will be able to color from here all the way down to here. So I will speed y'all through as I do this coloring, because it is quite a bit. Okay, so I am almost finished with this. I hit the stop button instead of the pause per huge. I be doing the most, y'all. Uh -huh. So I am almost finished with this challenge. And yeah, that's exciting. I'm no rush, but I just, I had to do something with this star note y'all <laughs> i just had to so now i should have a total of 139 dollars since i added this hundred dollars so 120 30 5 7 and 9 don't know if i said it before my goal is a total of 180 decided to let this 180 dollars go towards my vacation special fund that i have which i will be hopefully using um, for my birthday this year to go on a vacation. I do have enough in there for me to go on vacation, but I did want to add a little bit more money for just, you know, spending money. I have enough for it to travel. So I want to give it a little boost. And that is it for this binder. Next, I will be using my new favorite binder. And my new binder from Fundy Magita Jones. So, my next challenge I will be doing is, let me move this to the side. Forgot. My, actually, let me go over here. Sorry, y'all. A little bit all over the place today. Look like it. Doing my Jar That Money Saving Challenge, which I am using to save to get me a doorbell camera installed along with the current security system that I do have. So today I will be finishing this challenge. Yay! I will be adding a total of $20. So I'm going to go ahead and color in these last two jars and that will give me a total of $250. I do have a credit on my account for being a loyal customer with my security system people and i'm hoping that this 250 dollars will be more than enough with my credit to get me a doorbell camera installed i will be probably calling them later on this week to get an appointment scheduled and let's just cross my fingers that i have enough bandwidth within my internet service provider to get this system installed last time i did not have enough but I have a totally different internet provider now. So 
Yay, this is done. And today is 1-9 and I'm recording this video. So yay. Any and everything that I'm using within my videos, y'all, is always linked down below. If it's not from my Etsy shop, I will link down everybody else's Etsy shops or websites for everything that I'm using. So, so Jordan Money Saver Challenge is challenge number two. And as I stated, I've already updated my tracker. And I will be adding a total of $20, which is 10 and 20 and that should equal, this right here should be equals up to $250, which is 1, 2, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So, yay! This is done. And I'm, so since I finished that one, I will be starting another one, which is called my random numbers challenge we'll pick a random number and i will show it to you real quick so this is one of my top sellers on these digital world so the premise is this is the signifies the week and you can either save this whole row right here that week or you can just randomly pick numbers and just say what you want at the end of this challenge you will have saved a total of 103 dollars and I'm going to use this money to go towards my general savings fund, which is one of my top goals for 2023 is to add an additional $2,000 towards this general savings fund. So, yay! Next, I will be doing my yeah, y'all savings challenge. And that is right here. And today I will be adding a total of $5 to this challenge. This challenge is being allocated towards my estimated taxes. Each icon is worth $5 and I'm trying to save a total of 40 because I'm about $40 short from reaching my goal for this particular special fund. So I'm going to circle one of these right here to signify me adding an additional five dollars and that challenge is right here and it currently has twenty dollars in there and once i add this five it now has a total of twenty five dollars i've already updated my tracker and i'm hoping this method will make my videos a little shorter and hopefully i'm not all over the place i feel like i am today this one right here is the next challenge i'll be doing which is blooming for bucks so let me get that out real quick this challenge right here is from hands and bands and with me putting a total of three dollars towards this challenge i will get to color in a butterfly this challenge once I finish it, I will save a total of $44 and it will be going towards my gift special funds because I am trying to build that up after the holidays. So I'm just going to color in this little butterfly, butterfly down here. I am not the best at coloring, but I make it do what it do. I don't have the patience to sit here and do like intricate stuff. <laughs> it's just not me but it is making it fun and giving me a visual representation of what I'm able to accomplish. When I do save this money, y'all remember, whatever you can save, save. Um, don't be ashamed to save a couple of dollars, a dollar, whatever, it all adds up. You can't, everybody can't go in here and have like $1,000 saving challenges, $500 saving challenges. None of my challenges Saving Challenge videos that I've done have been over $200. So I think my highest one was like $177. And I am totally fine with that. So that is that one. And now let's add the last of my prop money, which is one, two, and three. And I should have a total of 
allocated towards this statement challenge now. So five. I should have a total of twelve dollars. Sorry, five, seven, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And that is it for this beautiful binder, y'all. Go watch the video of me unwrapping this. I am just, I'm obsessed. I'm very obsessed. <laughs> I'm excited to actually use this binder. And lastly is my monthly savings challenge. Now, if you are new here, I am on a mortgage-free journey and I will be using this binder this year to allocate money towards my monthly savings challenge. And each month I will do one of these and all of this money will go towards a principal payment for my mortgage. So I've already stuffed five and today I will be doing a total of 19, which is 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So basically any cash that I get in my hand, because I am a digital budgeter and I don't really use cash, any cash that I receive will be going towards this seven challenge every month now you can do this however you want to if you want to set a goal and say you want to save a hundred dollars a month you do that hundred dollars divided by the 31 days um or however you want to do it but what i'm just going to do i'm just on each one of the envelopes then add it all up and then put the goal amount or whatever amount that i save right here for the month and depending on the amount of money that i save each month depends on if i'm gonna go ahead and put that payment towards my mortgage that month or I'm just going to wait and just do quarterly payments so yeah I haven't exactly um I haven't really made my mind up how I'm going to do that yet so with me adding this $19 I should have a total of $24 saved up to go towards my mortgage let me get this together real quick oh I have it together okay so 10 15 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. And some of this money came from fellow YouTubers who donated some money towards my um, mortgage. So the J Bucks came from Deborah's Journey. The C Bucks came from Cash Rich Mama. The F Bucks, this was actually tips that I got from a customer from delivering my products to them and this five dollars was a tip and the ten dollars was a tip so yeah I got quite a bit of tips lately and yeah any cash that come across my hands is pretty much going towards this and I do have each month in here all the way up to December so yeah, that's how I'll be doing. And y'all, that is the end of my video. I hope that y'all enjoy it and I hope y'all find some type of motivation of seeing that no matter how much you can stuff or save, go ahead and do it. I am excited to hopefully be able to get this doorbell camera installed. I'm trying not to get so fingers crossed but i will keep y'all updated don't forget to make the money but don't let the money make you and i hope that y'all have a blessed day